Hi everyone, it's Ash Morgan. I am the Vice President for Further Education over at HISA, um, and this is my accountability video for HISACON, the student conference. Um, so, I'm going to be doing this video a little bit differently to what I thought I was going to be doing. I thought I was going to be doing what I've spent the most time on over the past year, but Honestly, I don't think that would be useful to you um, because there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. It's complicated and you need to work the job full time to understand a lot of the stuff. So I think I'm going to do things a little bit differently and tell you some things that I think have had the biggest impact, the biggest positive impact on students and the stuff that I've enjoyed doing. Um, because a happy sabbatical officer, which is what I am, I'm a sabbatical officer. I've taken some time out of my studies to do... This job, um, happy sabbatical officer is an effective sabbatical officer. So I'm going to combine the things that I think have been of most benefit to the students and the things that have made me happiest to do. So I'll start off with the things that um, I think have been of the biggest benefit to students. I think the thing that I've worked on this year that has had the single biggest benefit for the most students is the digital poverty stuff that I've been working on um, during HISACON. Uh, Heisercon during uh, coronavirus times. So um, I have been working on doing stuff to do with digital poverty, which means students who cannot afford a laptop but would still like to study and need a laptop to study um, as they can't get into college to use college computers. Um, we have been providing them, we, the university, have been providing them with laptops so that they can use the laptops to study. Uh, we've also been providing them with dongles if they don't have access to Wi-Fi or they live in a remote region and they can't access it because of that. So that's something that I feel has had the single biggest impact on the most students that I've done in the past year. So I'm really, really proud of that work. Um, I've also been in talks to make nursing, the um, access to nursing course more accessible. There was some concerns brought up at HISACON last year that it wasn't as accessible as it could be and that um, the entrance requirements or the entrance statement was um made it seem so that it was less work than it actually was so i've hopefully rectified that situation um and students are now aware that when they sign up to it it's actually going to be quite quite a big commitment um because it's a full-time course and it's a uh, it's a lot of work i've done access courses in the past and well an access course and it, it was a lot of work um so Another thing that I've done is just generally helping to steer the ship during the Heiser ship, as it were, during uh, coronavirus times. I've helped Flo and Jack, um, who are the president and the vice president for higher education, in as much as I could do, um, in, in whatever help is in my capacity to give, I've helped them. And again, an effective team is a team that is going to give the most work to the students. So I hope by helping them um, that I've alleviated some of the pressure um, and they've been able to do their jobs better for me helping them. And I know that they've helped me as well. Um, now onto some of the stuff that I'm proudest of, um, or the things that have made me happy to come to work and to do my job. Um, I've been in talks with Julie, who is our, um, one of our officers at Inverness. Um, and in talks with Got Consent, which is an organisation at St Andrews University, um, to talk about starting up consent workshops at UHI and making those compulsory for all students, um, unless you have a special reason not to. Um, so that's very exciting stuff. Um, and hopefully that will materialize soon. We've got a consent, well, at this point, we would have already had the consent workshop at Heisercon uh, on the Monday, I believe, um, from Rasash. Um, so hopefully that can be extended and it will be a workshop that could be used, um, to educate new students coming into UHI. Um, I helped Jack with some Black History Month, um, posts and, um, 
helped him run that month and the awareness stuff that was going on. We did some, Jack did an amazing educational video and I did some um, blog posts. Um, I'm currently working on some LGBTQIA plus history month stuff, which will be coming out next month. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, and hopefully some workshops or panels to go with that to make the month a really special event for the community. Um, I wrote a letter to the Chancellor of UHI, who is Princess Anne, uh, to lobby the Queen, who is her mother, to remove Prince Andrew as the Earl of Inverness um, due to his non-compliance, um, non helpful stance into the investigation into Jeffrey Epstein. Um, he, he hasn't been helping the investigation and we feel that is grounds for removal uh, of, of the title of the Earl of Inverness. Um, and that's sort of some of the stuff that, that's a small taste of some of the stuff that I've been up to. Obviously there's been a lot of stuff uh, that um, I can't, I, I just don't have the time in this video to go over, but, but um, I'm sure you'll ask lots of questions and anything you want to hear more about, I will be happy to talk about. Um, and my email inbox is always open for questions from students. I am, I can be found on my email at heiser.vpfe at uhi.ac.uk. Um, and if you have any questions about any of the work that I'm doing, um, feel free to send me an email or find me on Twitter. Um, and just send questions my way. I would be delighted to talk to any of the students of UHI. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the accountability session and the rest of Heisecon. All right, bye from me, bye.